classification of the epithelium. Let us come to the classification of epithelium, which you must have already learned. Okay? And the classification is based on the number of the cells which are arranged onto the basement membrane, whether it is multiple layer or it is of the single layer seat of the cell. Okay, that will decide and then also that function of the epithelium what is the free surface whether it is cilia or it is the microvilli is there okay, depending on various functions okay depending on structure we have to classify this epithelium and epithelium is classified okay very simply it is when it is single layer it is classified as simple epithelium it is classified when it is made up of the single layer of cell. Say for example, this is the squamous cell, flat cell with the flat nucleus and this is the simple. It may be cuboidal, it may be columnarous, right? This may be columnar epithelium. But the cells are arranged in one single layer, okay? One single layer. So, uh, Scamus, cuboidal, and columnar. This is the simple epithelium. So, what is simple epithelium? Where the cells they are forming a continuous sheet on the surface, inner surface, or outer surface of the body, which are arranged in one single layer. That means each and every cell of the epithelium is attached to the basement membrane. Okay, it is attached to the basement membrane. So, this is called a simple epithelium, which has also, I will just further tell you what are the further structures of simple. Second type of the simple or epithelium is classified as stratified. Stratified epithelium. What do you mean by stratified epithelium? That means here the epithelium is not arranged into a single layer but it is arranged into the multiple layer that is seat of the cells that is not a single, not in one but it is quite thick because there are many layers of cells which are just arranged one upon the other to give the thickness to this epithelium. Why a epithelium becomes stratified? On the other hand, the epithelium is simple. The simple epithelium have different function. The stratified epithelium will have different, which I am going to tell you in the next video tomorrow. Okay, so this is simple and their function will differ. If their function will, but here it is multiple. Uh, stratified means multiple. Then there will be an epithelium which is called as the pseudo-stratified. Let me draw the pseudo-stratified here. The pseudo stratified means all the cells of an epithelium they are attached to the basement membrane, but as I told you in the last video, that you don't see the cell membrane or cell wall or cell boundary. What you see is only the nuclei. So, when you will see the nuclei. Though all the cells, whether short or long cells, because short cells are squeezed between the long cells, okay, and when you will see the light microscope, since you will not see the boundary of the cell, then what you will see a mass of the cytoplasm, and in this mass of the cytoplasm, there will be the cells which will be hanging. Some will be elongated, some will be rounded, like that. So, this will give an appearance as if it is stratified, but it is not stratified. There are not the multiple layer, there is a single layer. And how we have determined that it is a single layer? It is based on that all of the cells, they are attached to the basement membrane. Those cells which are small, they are squeezed between the two long cells. So, it since therefore their nuclei become of different shapes and size and when you see in light microscope since you cannot see the cell boundary or cell membrane then you see that they are if arranged in multiple layer that's why it is called as pseudo pseudo means false false stratification is seen hence it is called as pseudo stratified 
and another type of the classification which will be there besides this stratification or stratified and pseudo stratified. This was the pseudo. Pseudo stratified. When we come to the fourth, this was the third, this was the second, and this was the first. Okay. Simple, stratified, pseudo stratified, and fourth I am coming, and that is called as transitional. And this is the actual, in true sense, it is stratified, where the cells are arranged in multiple layers. But then why it is not called as stratified? Why it is called as transitional? The reason is that this keep on changing itself. This is lining to the urinary bladder, for example, when urinary bladder is empty, hmm, there are multiple layer of the cells are seen which are stratified, okay? But then, when the bladder is full of the urine, then the walls get stretched and then the layer of the cells reduces and their shape also changes. Hence, this keeps on changing, its shapes and size keeps on changing, its number of the layers keep on changing. Hence, it is called as the transitional. Transitional means one which keep on changing. Okay. Hence, this fourth type of the epithelium is called as sun. We will learn in great detail about this in the next video. Okay. So, this is the transitional epithelium. Now then, I think I should stop it here only after the classification, a brief classification. Tomorrow when I will make a video on the simple epithelium, I will go in detail and if there will be time, I will also cover the stratified epithelium at the same time. Thank you very much for watching this video.